Good morning, it's Chatty Chrissy. It's fantastic. Haven't we had a great time looking at the Easter story? And the last two weeks we've looked at the fact that Jesus rose from the dead. Well, you know, after Jesus rose from the dead, when the tomb was empty, the disciples, they went out fishing eventually. They went out back to their jobs fishing. And they've been out all night. And as they were coming back, and it's sunrise at the moment, you can hear the birds. The birds are chirping. As they were coming back, they were so discouraged because they had caught nothing. And they were out in the water, dead discouraged. Jesus is ridden. They were scared for their lives. And someone at the shore said to them, have you caught any fish? And they're like, nope, been out all night haven't caught a sausage, haven't caught a thing. And the person on the shore said, put your net on the other side of the boat. And so, you know, we're fishermen, that's what we do for our job, that's what they did. And they knew what they had to do, and so they put their net the other side into the water, and so many fish went in that the boat nearly toppled over. They'd never had a catch of fish like that before. And all of a sudden, Peter realised that that was Jesus on the seashore. And so he didn't wait with his fellow friends in the boat. He jumped into the water, he half swam, he half waded to the shore. And at the shore, Jesus was standing there. And they had a barbecue on the beach. They had a barbecue and they actually saw the risen Jesus. And Jesus appeared to them again. He appeared to them more than one time and he ate with them. But he also talked to Peter and this was really important because Peter had said that he didn't know Jesus and Peter really wanted to be God's friend but he had actually said that he didn't know Jesus when the pressure was on. And Jesus looked at Peter and he asked him three times if Peter loved Jesus because there was three times that Peter actually said that he didn't know Jesus. And so Jesus knew what was happening in Peter's heart. And Jesus knew that Peter felt really bad about what he'd done. And Jesus forgave him. So Jesus ate. He'd come back to life. He ate with them. They could touch him. They could feel him. And that's really important because he wasn't a ghost who you then put your hands through. Nothing like that. No, he was a living person. Isn't that amazing? He came back to life again, risen and was seen there eating with them. Well I'm having my cup of coffee because it's first thing in the morning. Can you imagine for those disciples when the boat eventually came in full of fish, another miracle Jesus had done. Well for your homework this week you've got a paper plate and you've got some play-doh and I would like you to make your special meal. If you go out for a barbecue or if you go out for a picnic, what's your favourite food? And put that and make it and put it on your paper plate. And then we've also got a special colouring sheet which says Jesus is alive in different colours and some juggling balls and also some sweets as well. Lots of good things to do. But let's not forget, Jesus is risen. And because he's alive, he was able to talk to them. He was able to be with them. And that's the important thing for us. Jesus, because he's alive, he can live inside us. He can help us. And when we do things wrong, when we screw up like Peter does, he's willing to forgive us. Have a good week. Bye.
A man called Paul wrote these words. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 18. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean unto your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean unto your own points of view. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct. Let's say these verses together. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6.